Hello everyone, how's it going? Welcome to my first champion guide of the evening. First up, we're going to take a look at Aatrox. Now, I've had a quick look at Aatrox already with his abilities and he looks insanely strong. So I'm going to be showing you all the abilities, the combos, what to build on Aatrox as well, because I think there are going to be a few situational items for Aatrox that might be very, very strong, but will obviously need a little bit more testing to see which is the most viable build. But first, let's take a look at the abilities for Aatrox so first up we have his passive which is death bring a start so it's in has his next attack every 13 seconds to deal bonus physical damage equal to a percentage of the target's maximum health and he heals himself for the same amount as well so you have to make sure that you have the make sure you have this passive up as much as possible so you can see the passive is the one where you can just like basically lunge forward um so every single time that will call uh, go on cooldown you can see underneath his health bar his passive will then come up you'll get this little bit of a flip of his sword forward and then you can use it again so underneath the health bar you can see that is where his passive will be then um as well um the passive the cooldown is reduced by three seconds when Aatrox hits champions um or large monsters with an attack or an ability so that means that when you auto attack you can then use your abilities and as you can see it's it, it goes on such low cooldown it's absolutely crazy how low cooldown it can be you can heal up so much like i with that full combo i use my passive like three times there absolutely insane uh, obviously there's like a maximum 100 uh damage against monsters healing reduction is 50 percent against minions so nothing too crazy there now for the first ability we have the darkened blade swings his giant blade dealing physical damage this ability can be cast two more times with each cast dealing 25 percent more damage enemies hit in the sweet spot will be knocked airborne for 0 0.25 seconds and deal bonus damage so to know where the sweet spot is for each one of atrox's abilities you can see you have the part that's closest to him and then you have a line and you have the part that's furthest away from him so that will be a sweet spot so when you use the ability you can see the sweet spot is a little bit on the edge and the second part is again so you're going to have the sweet spot is right there on the first one the second one is right there and the third one is going to be really really close to you so most of the time what you want to do is you want to use your first ability at range you can then use your second ability with the third ability and then when you use your third ability it means you're going to get close enough in range to then use your third part of your first ability so first ability first ability and then you can use e or forward and then use your first ability again so a really really nice quick easy way first ability combo that with that and then boom you can land your third a part of your first ability straight away but yeah really really useful to know where the sweet spot is and making sure you always land your sweet spot is the most important thing uh with aatrox as, as you can see there really really simple infernal chain so it sends a chain that deals physical damage to the first enemy hit and slowing them by 25 percent for just over a second if a champion or large monster remains within the impact area for about over a second they'll be dragged back to the center and take the same damage again and it distills double damage to minions so it's a quick and easy way to push down minions if you want to but the main way you want to use it is on uh champions and it actually has quite a long range this range is actually a lot more than what i thought so when you use the second ability you can see the range and the area around it that is where you're going to be able to um basically keep enemies within so when you use your second ability you want to use your first ability afterwards and try and knock them up and that means that they will try and stay within that radius and again if they stay within that radius they're going to be pulled into the center and they're going to be taking more damage so it's really important with aatrox when you use your second ability you combo this with your auto attacks with your first ability as well and that means you will be able to easily get a lot of damage down and easily drag the opponents back towards you as well um so it's really really cool so you can like use your second ability then use your two first abilities and then by that time they're going to be pulled back towards you so you can walk up and then use your third part of your first ability when the um weak spot or where the perfect spot is for the first ability is going to be in the middle which is very very important 
And then for the third ability, we have Umbral Dash. So you have a passive which Aatrox gains 30% physical ramp against enemy champions, which obviously the scales, I mean, at the start of the game, it's 21%, and then it scales up to 30% physical ramp. This is absolutely insane on Aatrox. Having 21% physical ramp in the early game is going to be so, so powerful, and you need to build anti-heal against this champion. And then the active dashes forward. This resets... Um, Aatrox's normal attack and usable whilst casting other abilities so as it's mentioned I think it's the first time that it's actually mentioned this auto attack reset so you can first the auto attack there you go it's really really easy so you go auto attack third ability auto attack really really simple combo really really easy and as it mentioned you can also use your third ability um with other abilities as well so if you want to use your first ability you can then use your third ability afterwards as well and then get closer as well so you can hit your hit your switch uh hit, hit your sweet spot sorry every single time with your third ability which is really really important you can also go over walls as well with your third ability as you can see there's a few walls that you can dash over so you can either do something like first ability over the wall here if you really really want to and then it gives you gets you closer in range as well to try and land the third sweet spot on the first ability and you can also dodge skill shots as well at the same time so make sure if the skill shots are run towards you make sure you use your third ability to dodge out the way then for the ultimate this is the big one the world ender unleashes his demonic form for 10 seconds gaining percentage attack damage percentage increased healing and in decaying movement speed during this time and the uh, umbral gaze physical vamp um physical vamp is increased by 50 percent so that means that this goes up to a, a disgusting 56 like 80 percent so i've completely forgot the number off the top of my head maths is not really good at 1 a.m in the morning so yeah <laughs> insane crazy amount of healing that you can get with your ultimate world's end of duration is also extended by five seconds with a takedown and up to 10 seconds afterwards so the important thing with the ultimate is that you don't want to use it later on you want to try and use your ultimate as early as possible the main reason being is you get that huge massive burst of movement speed as you can see look how fast i am with the movement speed then i can use all my abilities i can kill so much as well at the same time like it's crazy how much movement speed you get with your ultimate so even if you're not going to use your ultimate to attack champions straight away using your ultimate to get that extra movement speed to be able to get into range to use your other abilities is really really important to be able to do that and you can see the duration of the ultimate as well just underneath the health bar and as you can see when the ultimate ends you go back to normal form um so really really cool and nearby minions and monsters are also feared as well uh, for three seconds on activation so yeah as you can see the cooldown goes down the bonus ad goes up the healing goes up and then the movement speed also goes up so start starts off at 60 percent goes all the way up to 100 percent. so a very very insane ultimate for aatrox now let's talk combos i've kind of already spoken a little bit about combos already um i think the main one i kind of explained already was like first ability into w and then use the second part as well to then knock them forward and that that's kind of your basic ability there you know first ability and then you can because this is not wait does this have the same range in wild rift hold on uh duh it's a little bit shorter okay so your second part of your first ability is a little bit shorter so if you hit this at like max range like here the second part won't hit yes yeah, so you need to make sure you actually dash forward so this is actually important so you go first ability second ability comboed with your third ability auto attack in range and then you can even combo your second ability on top of that as well to make sure that they can stay into range as well and as you can see you can just keep combing your abilities over and over again i do have zero percent cd though so i should really turn it off so combo first ability you can use your second ability use your first ability again go into range and then use your first ability and then you can auto e auto as well you can use your e if you want to get into closer range to just easily hit your first ability or you can use it for that auto attack e auto attack just completely depends what you want to go for but yeah really really cool really really effective way you can also use your e as well to get into closer range of your second ability and then that means you can stay into range to auto attack and do a lot of damage and land the knock up that is also another really really cool combo you can use i think this is the, the, the big one is for the laning phase you can just go e into w as you can see i can just quickly jump on top of him then my e's can be back up again where i can use my third part of my first ability with uh, with the third ability to dash into that perfect range so again really really simple champion to learn really really simple champion to understand but a very very effective champion that is going to be very very strong right let's quickly talk about leveling order with aatrox so at level one 
easy enough you just want to go for your first ability being able to use your first ability being able to potentially land all three parts of the sweet pot sweet spot with your first ability is really really important then you actually want to go for your third ability the reason why you go for your third ability is that you can combo this with your first ability but also at the same time this gives you that early game physical vamp so this will help you sustain a lot during the laning phase and then you want to go for your second ability then what you want to do is you want to max your first ability obviously leveling up your ultimate when possible because your first ability is your main source of damage then you max your third ability second and then you finally max your second ability obviously like i said making sure you level up your ultimate when possible i accidentally skipped the levels but you understand what i mean so you're just gonna level up your uh, second ability last all the way to maximum and um, so that's everything combos abilities leveling order that is all there for you i'm gonna quickly run through the build now as i mentioned there are some builds that are very very situational um so there are some that you can you know go there's some items that maybe you can go some items that you might not go um not really too sure yet we'll have to wait and see um but let me take a quick look through the build with you right so let's talk about the situational items first because this is probably going to be the standard build but i think there's a few other situation uh, situational items that might be really really good on aatrox first one is divine sundra got buff this patch as well the reason why divine sundra is going to be really good is because you want to be trying to auto attack in between using your abilities because of your healing on your passive also at the same time if the enemy champion is going divine sundra you kind of need divine sundra on top of it like you need divine sundra yourself to be able to win trades out uh, especially with aatrox because if you if an enemy buys divine sundra and you don't have divine sundra then most of the time you're going to lose the trade uh, with aatrox another one is holebreaker the reason why holebreaker might be really strong yes aatrox is not the best split push champion but the crazy amount of ad that you get from holebreaker so 55 ad aatrox works great with attack damage absolutely great like all of his abilities scale insanely well with attack damage Holebreaker is a really good item, a first item in the early game as well. Garen is another great example of Holebreaker. Not really the best split push champion, but it's a great first item because of how much pressure you can deal in the laning phase and how much you can win that one versus one once you get the Holebreaker. So again, two very situa situational items that you can go but core items black cleaver black cleaver is really really good for aatrox as you've seen with my combos i'm going to be landing abilities and landing auto attacks so often and that means that the sunderer the demon physical damage to champions reducing their armor by four percent for a few seconds it stacks up to six times that stacking is going to be absolutely insane it's going to be so so good you can stack it very quickly Black Cleaver also gives you a lot of good base stats, you know, health, attack damage, ability haste, all stats that Aatrox love. And then you also have the Rage Passive, movement speed, so you can get closer to the enemy champions, land your sweet put spots on your first ability, and that means you can get into range of auto attack at the same time. Death Stance as well, attack damage, armor, ability haste, all great. The Cauterize Passive as well, which is 35% of physical damage received, 15% uh, of the equipped champion if, is range, is dealt to you over three seconds as true damage instead. And if you get a takedown, then you, you basically cleanse the passive or, or the passive or the true damage taken over time and that means that you will be able to heal that damage instead so very very strong if you're against ad champions in the barrel lane if you're against ap champions you can maybe go for something like more of malmortius another great ap item as like a kind of tank item it's also spirit visage uh, because it increases all of your healing effectiveness by 30 percent this means that your third ability when you use your ultimate on top will be 100 healing of your damage so spirit visage very very good item that you can go if you're against some magic uh, magic damage champions for the boots i think most of the time you're just going to go for um defensive boots either played steel caps or mercury treads Clock this grease might work, but to be fair, I don't think you need that much more healing because of how much healing you get already from your third ability. So I think defensive boots is always going to be the way. And I think most of the time, Gargoyle Stone Plate is going to be really good. Or you can go for something like Stasis as well. I think either one of these two enchants is going to be great. Sterix Gauge as well, plus 50% base attack damage as bonus attack damage. Only applies to melee champions, which will work with Aatrox. A huge, massive, massive bunch of health and also lifeline passes. So if you do drop low on health, you get a huge, massive shield as well, uh, which means you get extra tenacity as well for a few seconds so really really nice tank item for aatrox serrated grudge as well your abilities want to slow when you slow with your abilities as well it means it will make it easier for you to land your other parts of your first ability and you know as i mentioned already it's always about landing your sweet spot with your first ability and then you're also on top of that to deal extra damage so grudge will help you slow down champions you can keep landing your first ability in the sweet spot 
over and over again and then for last item we have guardian angel again you can flex this item to maybe a magic resist item you can go for anything else if you want to again crit items not the best for him the same with lethality items are not that great uh, you can maybe go mortal reminder if you want some anti-heal instead of going serrated's grudge that is a situational item that you can go uh, but i think most of the time this is pretty much going to be the build like i said i think the only two situational items are divine sundra and Holebreaker, but that obviously need quite a bit of testing beforehand for the runes no doubt conqueror i mean no brainer really you gain stats of adaptive force very very quickly with aatrox with all the abilities and all the auto attacks you'll be dealing which means you'll get bonus ad and also you'll get omni vamp as well which means even more healing triumph i think is going to be the best option uh, for aatrox because you're going to be able to deal more damage when enemies are low on health and when you do get the takedowns you do get the healings remember this increases the duration of your ultimate so that means you can keep dashing forward you can keep dealing a lot of damage second wind for the laning phase allowing you to get more healing when you're not taking any damage from enemy champions or when you're out of combat which the healing is also doubled for melee champions and then demolish as well it's pretty much a go-to for most solo lane champions because of how much pressure you get when you win the lane and when you get demolished uh, procced off on the tower you can get one maybe two plates in the early game especially with your auto attack reset on your third ability as well you can take towers very very quickly and then for some of the spells we have flash and ignite but that's everything for aatrox uh, i've gone through everything that i think i'm going to i'm definitely going to be playing aatrox as well make sure you check out my stream tomorrow and make sure you stay tuned because in a little bit i will be releasing the cane guide as well which i'll be telling you blue build cane red build cane all the abilities all the evolved abilities as well uh, it's going to be great so hopefully stay tuned for that one so yeah until next time i'll see you all in the next wider video peace